So here I am in my garage. Uh, it's a Saturday afternoon. I'm getting ready to watch the rugby a, a little bit later uh, and supporting the uh, South African rugby team. Uh, but this morning I have set up my 3D printer. Uh, this is the future right here uh, in my garage. Uh, there are a number of different uh, 3D uh, printer models and uh, I'll be putting some information about the various options and why I chose this particular one, the Rapman 3.2, uh, on, up on my blog. So you can have a look at that at uh, newworldofwork.co.uk. Uh, uh, but just in case you, you haven't heard of 3D printing before or would like to see one in action, um, uh, what's going on over here is you have a printer that has... Uh, that's using uh, plastic. So if I can just uh, pull back here, uh, what you've got is these two different uh, reels of plastic here. We've got a natural color and a purple color. Those go up and around and, and into the machine. Now these uh, two uh, heads over here are pulling those pieces of plastic through um, and then down at the bottom they've heated up to about 200 degrees centigrade. And uh, what they're actually doing is melting that plastic and then pulling it out in very fine thread format uh, in, in a melted form that, that then dries quite quickly. Um, and what you can see here is this uh, little model that is developing. Now this is just the test uh, model that I downloaded from the website. Um, and it's just uh, building up. You can see a little container um, step by step. This has been going for about 15-20 minutes already and uh, you've got a little natural colored base that will help us to just pull the thing off without breaking it and then you just sand that away with sandpaper and then on top of it is this 3D printer printing out in plastic. So you can see with the size of this machine you can print out easily a two or three liter volume plastic container and the idea with this is essentially you've got a little factory uh, in your garage or, or wherever you you want to keep it uh, it's not that big uh, as you can see and basically any object now can be printed out. You get software, there are many different websites, I'll put this all up on the blog, where you can go, there's even an app where you can draw something uh, in your phone into the app, you can then create a three-dimensional version of it and you then export it as a, a particular file type which this uh, machine can, can use. Uh, you just uh, plug in the USB with the file in it uh, and you give the instruction to print uh, and off the machine goes. Uh, it's reasonably quiet. It has a, in fact, nice little science fiction type sound to it. Uh, and there again, you can see it building up layer by layer that little plastic, uh, that little plastic model there. Um, and I'm guessing in about an hour's time that'll be a complete model. Pretty much anything can be printed out, anything in, in plastic on this machine, but of course uh, you're only limited by what you can feed into these heads. Conceptually we can put anything in here. Uh, we can put metal, uh, we can even put uh, genetic materials, uh, food types, any chemical in fact. Um, there we have it, a 3D printer in my garage. When made in China can be made in your garage, the world has truly changed. This is definitely a signpost for the future. Mm -hmm.